up everybody we have a new event in halo infinite the first one of the year as well as a balance update that came to halo infinite i wanted to cover that in this video so let's check it out first let's cover the changes to empyrean the pit remake that's currently in the game first change for empyrean is the spanker rocket launcher was changed where the respawn timer was reduced from three minutes to two and a half minutes and for ranked only the starting ammo has been reduced from four rockets down to two the overshield has a respawn timer increased from two minutes to two and a half minutes the sniper rifle respawn timer has been increased from 2 minutes to 3 minutes. The plasma pistol changed from 2 placements in the training area to 1 neutral placement in mid bridge. And for ranked only, the spike grenades had a change of just being completely removed from mid bridge. And these all stack on top of the changes that happened last week that I covered in the previous video. If you guys want to catch up with those, check out this video right here at the end of this one. And like I said, we have the joint fire event that just went live today. And what that brings is the multiplayer mode of covert one flag, which we played previously. And looking through the game, Gameless here, nothing's really changed. It's pretty much the exact same experience we had last time playing Covert One Flag. Though we do have a new event pass, which is another 10 tier free items that you can have within Halo Infinite. So let's go through real quick. So we have a backdrop, we have a new visor right there, and we have the new knee pad for the Mark 5B. Again, a chest piece for the Mark 5B. The coveted JFO helmet, which I'm sure many of you are excited about, myself included. I'm definitely looking forward to rock this right here. A new coating for the Mark 5B, a new visor right here. This is a gun that gets cross core visor, so don't have to worry about what which one is specifically which core. A shoulder for the JFO piece for the Mark 5B, another shoulder piece, as well as a pretty sweet looking helmet attachment. I'm liking it. They are also probably wondering what do I need to do to get these unlocks? Well, as we know previously that challenges have been much more open-ended but it looks like this time they're kind of making you go into that joint house playlist for the weekly ultimate we do have the tactical weekly ultimate so that's something to look into but this time this looks like you're actually going to have to play the joint ops event if you want to unlock a lot of these things so there's things like earn cumulative score get kills kill players and a sidekick and a bulldog in joint ops kill two enemies and sparrings with stuff like that so all these upcoming challenges are very joint ops focused so if you want to get your unlocks for this event here guys you're going to have to play the joint ops players for here so they're going to have to play covert one flag which i know a lot of people are probably not super into it but let's just check it out you haven't played bizarre in such a long time i mainly just play rank when i'm playing halo Infinite because it's like the only thing that really has any form of progression on it it feels like and they took out bizarre basically completely from ranked if i remember correctly so yeah not only did you get a chance to play on this one so i'm actually kind of excited to play it look at me just looking all delicious with my oreo coating thanks again community right there with the hookup on that one because the oreo coating is only for the uh the eu events stuff so understandable that like a lot of people are probably looking for it trying to get it but just can't quite have the opportunity to use it which is awesome like, so the whole idea about this is that like yeah one team as the the sensors right here you get a chance to find all the players who are actually invisible and the people who are invisible are playing to get the flags and stuff like that. So very important to utilize a lot of the motion sensors here to get the kills and stuff like that, which I was able to get that guy, but no one stuck right behind me. Where the defending team does have the commando and the sword. But yeah, the attacking team has the pulse carbine as well as the sidekick. So a little like one-sided kind of stuff, but we'll see how it actually kind of plays out here. I got around the corner. I can probably get this guy right. Sword attack! Boom! It's just kind of weird that this time around for the event that they're actually making you play the specific event playlist to get you to jump in and play it. What they probably saw last time was that a lot of people probably didn't jump in and play the specific event playlist just because you know, people just kind of want to play what they want to play and make progression. But it looks like this me you do have to join, do the joint ops playlist. Which, I mean, I'd kind of prefer not to have to do that. I kind of always like to be able to play the game how I would like because Cover One Flag, it's like it's an alright mode, but it's just nothing really anything super exciting or, you know, because I just like to, like I said earlier, I kind of just like to play Ranked Infinite. It's kind of my jam. And if I wanted to just play Ranked Infinite, I wouldn't be able to make progression on this, which is kind of lame, but I understand I'm trying to get people to play like this themed event kind of thing, right? Hey, look at that. Round one goes to us. And we go, now we're attacking this time around. <laughs> Actually, I touch it, play people just lead the match. Oh, wow, that's great. <laughs> oh, God, they saw me. Oh, they definitely they definitely saw me. Oh, my God, they just had us everywhere. Another little delicious homie. Well, Leo, you know, I can't be too mad about that. Oh, you're going to hurt my friend like that, free milk? 
The revenge. Oh, I forgot that they all have swords. That's a terrible idea. Uh, how do you guys feel in the comments about forcing people to jump into specific playlists to play modes that people might not want to be wanting to play? Something like, say, like, oh, one covert, one flag. I, mean, I know a lot of people would probably like to grind ranks. We're not super friendly about it, but I know I kind of like the idea of like making people play a certain way to kind of just get them to experience Halo and something new that they may have not tried before. Just because. I think that's the biggest issue with the Halo Infinite, is that it can get stale super quick. Another bag smack. Oh god, but then there was too many. Because if you just end up playing the same exact mode every single time, it gets really boring really fast, so maybe just jumping in and playing something like this kind of mode would actually help out with it being less stale and a little more fun to play when it comes to playing Halo Infinite. Another back smack. Dude, I'm just the back smack king right now. Let's go. Probably move a little forward here since they didn't quite throw that. Where he needed to throw it. Oh god, there he, there he is. There he is. There he is! Oh no. Yeah, the tough part about this is like, yeah, the motion sensor, as long as you're using it, it's pretty tough to flank around because, especially on a map like Bazaar, where you just have these tunneled areas where you, people have to go down. So let's try it again. We're, we're going to be we're gonna be defending this time around. We're lagging around, which feels great. And now, I've been playing so much Call of Duty that like once I saw that guy sitting in the corner right there, I was like... I kinda wish I had the, uh, the drill charge from Modern Warfare 2 just to get that guy out from the wall. Wait, man, we're supposed to be delicious homies, and why you gotta be trying to take my flag like this? Well, they got a flag cap on us that time. Those guys definitely came prepared. My team was, uh, I don't know what they were doing. I'm pretty sure they were on my team. My team was there, right? Yeah, so full team. More people are joining and leaving the game, though, so that's why we keep getting those laggy hiccups every time the game starts up. I think maybe a lot of people are joining and go like, what is this joint fi ops fire mode kind of thing? And they play and they go, eh, not really my thing. There we go. We get sneaky around this one. We're making some progress, but they just put these sensors in just the right spot, making it a little tricky here. Oh god, there they go. There they go. Dude, they're not really pushing out of the map. They're just kind of, uh... Hanging back and, uh, well, throwing sensors around. And we have the sword! God! Which kind of makes sense to do it just because, well, all you need to do is defend one little point. And if you're long, as long as you do that, then you're going to win the game. So we're kind of pushing this right side. I can try to help out or something. Do something about that, right? No, we couldn't. No. We tried. Play with my team. I think we all just died just we wanted to die. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of our jam. I will say, though, that the cosmetics that we have for this event are pretty good. Like, having some cool free armor sets, I'm all for it, you know? Can you shoot these things? Yeah, you can. Okay, I forgot about that. So, it is kind of worth the grind. It may might not be a grind that you'd want to do. It's still pretty cool. Oh, oh shoot, there's another one! Can we get this flagpole though? Oh gosh, there's just too many of them. This is our spawn too. I just can't get anything happening for us guys. Sorry. You have 10 seconds. Damn, yeah, we just couldn't put quite pull it up. They got their three defends pretty, pretty easily. I tried, man. Hey, I tried. At least we made some progress on these challenges right here. You know, some of them are a little spicier than others, but you know, whatever. Hey, you know, we're playing Halo. It's fun.